few days ago, the 7th of December, General Chuck Eager of the United States Air Force died at the age of 97. Chuck Eager is a very important character in the history of aviation, so a video would have been not out of place to discuss this. But that man, without knowing me, without him knowing of my existence, had a very deep influence on my life. This is the story of what happened. When I was 17, 18 years old, I was during the final years of high school, my father used to travel a lot for business. He was an engineer and his job was to design and build automated warehouses. One day, his company managed to land a large contract with one of the most important Italian publishers. They simply had to build an automated warehouse to improve their logistics. At the time I was a big book nerd and my father was aware. And when they started the project, one of the things that he noticed that uh, by that publisher there were cardboard boxes available full of books for a ridiculous low price, the equivalent of uh, one or two pounds today. Uh, the reason was that in those boxes were stashed all the books that came out with defects from the production line, from the printing line, but well, there were minor defects uh, that didn't compromise the possibility of reading the book. So what my father used to do was to bring those boxes home, quite a lot of them, and I was happy because I loved books. I always loved books. One day, in one of those boxes, there was this book. Actually, not exactly this one. Uh, this is the English edition. That one was an Italian translation. That still have it in Italy in my library, so I unfortunately can't show it now. At the time, I was already very, very passionate about aerospace, aviation, and everything around this subject. So. No wonder I started reading the book as I gave the precedence. And I couldn't put it down till I went through the last page. It was that amazing. So at the time I was nearing the end of the high school and I had to decide what to do of my life, what kind of university choice I should have done. And to, uh, to be honest, part of me wanted to study economics get an employment in finance and become very rich. But another side of me said, uh, you will never make it through if you don't like it, if you don't really like it. Try to do something you're passionate about. And I've always been passionate about aviation, aerospace and military stuff. At some point, I've also considered a military career, but yeah, my parents were not happy at all about that. And uh, so my decision was to go and study aeronautical engineering at the Polytechnic of Milan. Chuck Higa's autobiography was the book that pushed me beyond the edge. The reason why it was the final push was because in that book I learned some things that I didn't know ever existed and I thought they were marvelous. For example, at the time I understood 
uh, why it was necessary to have a fully mobile horizontal tailplane to go beyond the speed of sound to being capable of controlling the plane in transonic regime. I understood the difference between laminar and turbulent flow and how a laminar flow aerofoil works uh, because this was explained in the pages where Eager is actually testing the B-47. In the same book I learned that, for example, the MiG-15 to get out of a spin required the pilot to push the stick against the line drawn on the cockpit and if the plane didn't get out of the spin by the third round they had to eject because there was no hope of recovering uh, anymore. I have yet to understand why it was so but <laughs> I, mean, I remember this actually hit me hard explaining how complicated, it helped me understand how complex, how complicated immensely uh, complex and interesting is the world of aviation is actually piloting a plane. Overall Chuck Higer, yes it tells his uh, personal story but it also tells an amazing story which is the story of the American air power in the 50s and in the 60s. It was an um unprecedented time of development for aerospace technology and probably we will never see anything like that again. If for any reason I was given by God the possibility to live again in a place of and time of my choice, I would probably choose to be out of the university probably 1948-1949 in the United States to be capable of being part of that story. And the overall idea of trying to being part of something like this, even that in Italy obviously the uh, aerospace industry was much more modest uh, at the time, was what really attracted me toward aeronautical engineering. So Chuck Higa's autobiography had this very important feature of not focusing only on the human element. Every autobiography could, can do that. Uh, that. That's okay, that's fine. But it was also capable of transmitting uh, this technical knowledge, this operational knowledge, the sense of amazement and trust and vision of the future that existed at that time in that place. As I already said, it had a deep influence on my life and my career choice. And maybe it also had for you, so just let me know in the comments below uh, what do you think about it. So, well, I suppose thank you very much, Chuck, for what you did for me even though you never met me, you never knew I existed. Thank you very much for what you did for all of us. And uh, yeah, all the best for what's coming next. Okay, this was a short and particular video due to a particular event. Next week we will be back to the normal programming. Uh, after that, in the Christmas weekend and the end of year weekend, there will be no normal programming. There will be one video in which I will just discuss the progress of the channel because I have to say so many thank yous that, yeah, one video uh, dedicated to that is uh, really necessary. Uh, the shorts will keep coming during all the holidays and the normal programming will resume in uh, the first full weekend of 2021. For now, thank you very very much for watching and see you in the next video.